All right, starting things off. Game one on Battlefield with Jesse on Ganondorf. Seven on Fox. All right, now. It had originally looked like it was in Seven's favor, but Ganon gets those hits in, and he hits like an absolute truck. That up air sending him in an odd angle, denied by the another up air, hangs onto the ledge, and Jesse takes the lead. All right, Seven's starting to apply some pressure. Jesse looking for those stomps. As Frank would say, the only reason you play Falcon or Ganondorf is because of those stomps, because they're so damn satisfying. Side B tries to follow it up, and instead Ganon gets the upper hand until that back air comes out from seven. Edge guard, another back air, gonna seal the deal. He throws him up and chases him onto the platform. Just slowly but surely trading blows. Okay, Seven's so starting to bounce him around a little bit. Oh, Jesse does recover. Forward air coming up from Jesse, sends him pretty far to the left-hand side. Edge guards with a back air, they collide, but that is going to take it. And then up smash coming out, evening it up at two stocks apiece. Okay, here comes the stomps, gets one, then just tries to go for the back. Back here, but it gets caught up by Seven's grab. Shined away from the platform, or from the ledge, rather. And takes the kill that way. You know, Fox off stage almost gets hit by the back air, but sneaks the ledge. Again, gets hit by the side B, but now trying to get him away with those up airs. Back air, sending him all the way to the left hand side, killing him off that way. And we're down to the final stock for game number one. Double dash attack. Take it forward here. Keeping him away for now. And seven gets in once again. Firefox is to the high side, but just the answers with enough air. Get jabs. Spontaneous forward smash. I don't think that was intentional. It tries to get the stomp, but the seven gets to the ledge. Gets the ledge again. And makes it to the ledge. Nice shorten. Okay, seven with the grab. Doesn't get anything out of it. Jesse gets the back air, and that is going to seal it for game number one. Go to Jesse. Cutie Pie should approve of the Ganondorf victory, as I know that is your boss. And here we go, game number two, keeping the same characters, but this time we're on Final Destination. Now this is kind of the reason why you don't want FD. The shines right across the stage, tries to finish off with an up smash, but still gets a lot of percentage out of the deal. One stomp. Two stomps, tries to go for a forward air right after. A hit shield. Back here, gonna send him off stage. And unfortunate choice of angles. Gonna take the first stop. Yeah, I know you will, kitty pie. Yeah, up smash coming out, but not gonna seal the deal on Ganon just yet. The air coming out. Destroys him with the up air. Send him down on a really strange angle. So now Jesse's got the two stock advantage. As I say that, there's the shine into up smash. Seals the deal for seven. All right, but now the drill shine's coming out from seven. Just applying a ton of pressure right now. The 
Shine's coming out again into the up smash. Lands it this time, but does not kill. That time it'll do it. So now we're all evened up on stocks. That advantage Jesse once had is now gone. Okay, get some of the up airs. Going for forward airs as well. Here comes the Shining once again. Followed up by multiple up airs. Okay, come on in. What did you do? All good? <laughs> Interesting. Frank, with the struggle with yep. the headset. Uh, yeah. Oh, no. Good. Look away for one second. Good time to cast. I can only come here for, like, a couple of stocks, too. But uh, my tech skill with... Uh, Headsets is not too great. All right, Jesse versus Seven. It's uh, two, or it's one, um, one game apiece. Yeah. Uh, and I think uh, Jesse's got like he's just making like a huge fan base because of like two weeks ago. Yeah, he had a really good run. Yeah, and like who doesn't love Ganondorf? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Or Ganondorf players. Nice. Those back airs. Getting those back airs up. I think it's like one of his fastest, actually it is his fastest I think you're uh, right. aerial attack, so he pulls that thing out from time to time just to set things up. But obviously his kill move is going to be that forward air. Um, yeah. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, obviously, Dan, you know this, I'm hoping he gets a kill with Stomp or something. Oh, of course, I was explaining earlier that you are the absolute Stomp fanboy. Yeah, I, I can't get enough. I mean, I don't talk to Jesse that much, like ever, but I like him. Do you guys communicate in Stomps? <laughs> Yeah. It's like some sort of secret Morse code. Yeah, it's like Morse code with stomps. Um, I actually can't even keep casting because I got a game. All right, go for it. Don't hold up, thanks. Yeah. Thanks for coming out. Yes, yeah, the Morse code of stomps. It's the Ganon way. So right now, we're at three apiece here on Dreamland. A match for all the potatoes. I always find it funny whenever Gandalf does that jab that just stop with the, the palm of his hand. Hold some brain in his place. The quarter coming out, Firefox. Oh, nice tilt. Hangs onto ledge, secures the kill. Very nice from Jesse. Okay, seven right back with the shine. Secures the kill with it. Pressure again coming up from seven. Then denied by the palm. Adro Shine. Waits for him to get up and follows up with an up air. And the chase continues. Okay, there. Jesse gets the jab. Tries to go for back airs, but it's all on shield right now. Fox gets the back air, and he did that up B rather early, and that's unfortunate. Jesse's down to his final stock. And the Shining coming out. Yeah, someone's just got all the pressure in the world right now. And shines him off. Follows up with an up air. Not letting him move. Gonna secure the deal. Seven. We'll take that one over, Jesse. Two to one.